All right, welcome to video number three of our Sciatica No More guide here on YouTube. If you haven't watched the first two videos, the release video and the stretch video, go back and watch those because I want you guys to go in order. Now, this part we're going to be working on core activation. Now, you may see on YouTube and actually all over the Internet, when you have back pain, you need to use your core muscles. Yes, but what does that even mean? Really, wh how? where, what, when, I'm going to be going over that in this video. Now, I'm going to give you a few exercises. They are the most powerful core exercises that will help you finally, finally, finally understand how to use your core when working with sciatica. Now, if you haven't done the release or the stretches, these are not a good idea because what we'll be doing, essentially, think of our core muscles as holding everything in and together. You can't hold a tight, unstretched back together because that just makes it worse. So go back, do release, and do stretch, okay? So let's jump onto the bed. Yeah, and we're going to be laying flat, okay? Now, don't worry if you can't get all these exercises below. You guys will be able to get the printable guide, which will have these exercises on there, okay? So the first exercise, you guys, if you guys work with me, you know this one. This is our suck, tuck, and squeeze, okay? So what I'm going to do my hands are on my stomach. I want to suck my stomach in. That's called your transverse abdominal. You want to suck your stomach in. Okay? Suck it in nice and flat. Okay? That creates this nice cylinder, this nice brace, tightness in the core. Okay? Now, from here, I want to tuck my hips. Now, very commonly, people look, they bridge up like this. No, 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 no. Not a bridge a tuck. But while you're tucking, you're sucking. Okay. I've also done a bunch of videos on this. Okay. So tuck and suck. Okay. We're going to hold. Now the last part, this is going to create this intra abdominal pressure and we're going to squeeze our abs and you feel everything get nice and rock and solid. Okay. You're going to have to practice a couple times, but you will get it. So suck the stomach in right? Tuck the hips, squeeze the core, right? Squeezing everything in and tight, all right? That's the first core exercise. The next one, this is our Pilates bridge plus march, okay? This is a combination exercise, probably one of the best core exercises around, okay? So I'm going to suck, tuck, and squeeze, but now I'm going to peel my hips up, okay? I like to use the word peeling because see how I'm tucking my hips? You're not bridging, you're peeling your hips up, okay? And keep your knees slightly together, okay? So suck, tuck, and squeeze, peel the hips up. Now from here, put your hands on the bed, try not to use your hands too much, and you're gonna lift your left leg up and hold. Now what, what happens is our hips wanna rotate down, okay? That's gonna be where our core muscles come in to hold them straight. Because the more you're rotating, the more pressure we're putting on that sciatic nerve and the hips, so I'm holding. This should be a challenge. Suck, tucking, and squeezing, and holding. Okay? Back down. Suck, tuck, and squeeze. Lift. Other leg. Hold. Keep your suck. Keep your tuck. Back down. Make sure your hips are clear, right? Suck, tuck, and squeeze, and hold. And back down. Suck, tuck, and squeeze. Hold. Back down. And recover. Okay? So, excellent. What we're looking at next, folks, is we want to make sure, these are the next two exercises, we want to make sure that our hand cannot slide underneath our back, okay? Through, see how there's this arch and then get my hand underneath? Not, we don't want to do that yet. That's the next video. But make sure you can't get your hand underneath, okay? So what we're going to do, suck, tuck, and squeeze. Make sure your hand can't get underneath. You're going to bring both knees up, okay? This is called table. It's like a little table. Okay, from table, keep your core, and you're going to take one leg, keeping your knee bent, bring your heel down and touch, and back up. So what happens is as your heel goes towards the floor, not your toe, your heel, your back wants to round. Don't let it. That's the core muscles coming into play, and back up. If you allow your back to round as one leg goes down, that's putting a lot of pressure on your sciatic nerve. So we're keeping those core muscles, and touch, and back up. 
and touch. This is called the downhill march. Okay, I got two more for you. Now this one's controversial, folks, but I truly believe that we need upper abdominal strength as well as lower abdominal strength, even though, never mind. You need upper abdominal strength, okay? And you're gonna bring your hands underneath your neck, okay? And this is called the crunch, elbows forward. Now, very important for the crunch, I'm pushing my elbows forward first, pushing my elbows forward first, crunching up. Don't pull your head, crunching up. Notice my lower back is flat, but notice my shoulder blades are off the bed. Okay, my elbows are up and back down. Now, this isn't bodybuilder fitness boot camp crunches. These are corrective crunches. So you're going to breathe in. Exhale, send the elbows forward, crunch, and hold for three seconds. Three, two, one. And back down. Very nice, about five reps. Like I said, that'll be in the printable guide down below. Okay? So the final core activation, folks, this is called unicycle. Now, it's a, it's a, we're going to be in table. It's a modification of this heel touch. But what we're going to do is now, instead of keeping our knee bent, we're going to extend one leg out nice and straight. Now, very commonly, people's back will start to round. Make sure your back stays flat. If you cannot bring your leg straight without your back rounding, meaning you can't get your hand underneath, don't bring your leg down so low. Here, so I have clients, sometimes we're here, right? And that's fine. But as you get stronger, you want to get nice and low. It's not a speed exercise. Make sure your core is staying flat. Make sure your core is staying flat. Back up. Make sure your core is staying flat and back up, okay? So that's the unicycle. Quick review, suck, tuck, and squeeze, right? Holding. We got the Pilates bridge march. Good. We have the downhill march. Good. We have the crunch. And we have the unicycle. And don't worry, folks. Like I said, those are going to be in the printable workout guide. I got you on that. So we have released our back, right? Got all the tension out of the hips. We've stretched our hips on our back, giving this nice elongated position. And now we have activated our core, giving us a nice stability and holding all of those muscles that we just stretched and released in and tight. Now, traditionally, we would stop here, folks. And I did stop here for many years. However, I found that if you do not continue to the next two steps, mobilize and strengthen, you will be stuck in this phase of my back hurts, I do the releases and stretches, I do the activations, I'm cool for a while, my back hurt, and you get caught in this loop, okay? I don't want us caught in a loop. I want us to feel good permanently, okay? And the way to do that is we need to start working on our mobility. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Please do them. It's going to be awesome. You're going to feel great. Okay? So with that, that's it with the activation video, and I will see you in the mobility video.